God bless everyone who's watching me and listening to me right about now. I have a word of direction for someone who's listening to me. This word is for you, my brothers and sisters. Remember, you don't want to miss words that are released because the words that are released are very powerful and they will help you. They will help you jumpstart your day. My brothers and sisters, today's word is stop feeding them with information about you. Stop feeding people. People who are actually your enemies. Not everyone is your enemy, but there are some people around you who are doing all it takes to see that you fall down. And you are keeping them uh, busy with information. Some of them are asking you about your dreams. They keep asking you about your whereabouts. Some of them keep asking you that they did not see you last time. It's not because they love you so much. It is not because they miss you. No, it is because they want to check what your plans are and they want to destroy them. Don't give them your future dreams, your future plans. Don't tell them about your strategies because they are enemies all around you, surrounding you. My brothers and sisters, whether you like it or not, you are in a spiritual warfare. The scripture clearly states it, that we do not wage war against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of this age. Brothers and sisters, you have to put on the full armor of God. Not half an armor of God, but it has to be full. So my brothers and sisters, all that you have to do is to stand. Stand on the promises of God. Let God fight for you your battles. Some of you, you're fighting battles that are not yours. You have engaged in wars that you were never supposed to engage yourself in. That is why you are struggling. That is why some of you are going through pain. Because you are trying to fight this battle by yourself. And here the scripture says, the battle is the Lord's. So can you leave the Lord to fight for your battles? The moment that you leave God, the moment that you acknowledge God in your battles, He will rescue you. Scripture says it clear. Call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Some of you until now, you haven't called the name of the Lord. You think you have called His name, but you haven't really got down to the aspect of calling His name. My brothers and sisters, they are people who are enemies of progress. They are enemies of progress. They do not want to see you go far. They never wish you to make it through in life. Some of them want you to drop dead. Some of them are expecting for the news of your downfall. They constantly keep checking their phone. They constantly keep checking news to see if you made it. They constantly keep checking you, just texting you and sending you messages. How are you doing? How are you? Not because they care about you. Some of them want to verify whether that witchcraft they sent you is working. Whether that sorcery they staged up has consumed you. They want to know whether that generational curse is still at work or active. But glory to God, you are going to overcome your enemies. You are going to destroy your enemies. God is going to help you because God is going to fight for you all your battles. My brothers and sisters, when people start asking you questions, there are times where you need to keep quiet. I would encourage you to study the life of Jesus. Study the life of Jesus. How did Jesus respond to people? When people asked, asked him about his whereabouts, how did he respond? There are times when Jesus would, would tell them, my time has not yet come. There are times when Jesus would perform a miracle and, and, and tell that person, he commanded that person never to tell anyone. But some of you, you are seeking for fame. Not all of you. Some of you want to know that, you want to, you want to let someone know that you have acquired that car or that house. 
there are some things that you need to keep secret. Don't post everything on social media. Before you post about your relationship status on social media, be careful. Who is it that is watching you? There are a lot of monitoring spirits. Some of you, the reason as to why your relationships are not even working out is because you are too quick to tell people about your relationships. You are too quick to tell people about your projects, about your future plans. You are too quick to tell your relatives about who you are engaged to. You are so quick to tell your best friend. No knowing that your best friend could actually be your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Someone have missed it. Your best friend could actually be your enemy. Without you, be no without you knowing. Brothers and sisters, stop feeding your enemies with information about you. I pray that God gives you the, the spirit of wisdom. I pray that God gives you a spirit of discernment. That you are able to discern who your enemy is. That you are able to close the door before your enemy gets in. Because there are people who have opened the door for the enemy. And the enemy is taking what belongs to you. He knows about your, your relationships. He knows about your life. He knows about your health condition. Sometimes you just need to keep quiet. And tell your problems to God. Just be like Hannah. Hannah did not go around telling her problems to everyone. Hannah was a very prudent lady. Even when she was being mocked, she kept silent. You never see in one time Hannah abusing Penina. Or, fight, or staging up a battle with Penina. She knew where the battle was. She was a strategist. A prayer warrior, a woman of God that always went down to the temple to pray. Even when the priest thought that Hannah was drunk, Hannah was not drunk. She kept on praying until she got her breakthrough. And her breakthrough was Israel's breakthrough. Some of your breakthrough is the nation's breakthrough. So keep praying. Brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. Until next time, May God bless you.